，喵，喵。Let that be a lesson to you, folks. Not everybody enjoys Thanksgiving. Not everybody enjoys Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving to me reminds me of the time in 1980, Thanksgiving evening, when my mother tried to stab me with the turkey knife. My mother tried to stab me with the turkey knife on Thanksgiving evening. Quote. I know what you are. I know what you are. You are an introvert. My mother loved her sister more than she loved her son, and my father loved my uncle more than he loved his son. He, de my father, destroyed love letters that I got from a girl. Many of my photographs, my personal photographs, my father destroyed, and hundreds of black and white photographic negatives. And I asked him, "Why did you do that?" And he said to me, "You can't keep everything." And I said. But why did you do that? I'm your son, and he said, "I don't know if you are my son." Not everybody enjoys Thanksgiving. For some people, Thanksgiving is a hard time. My parents were good providers. I'm not faulting them for that. Both my parents, I even complimented them. I said to my father, before I left home for the last time, I said, "Father, you've been a good provider." But they did have personality flaws, and one of them, one of the personality flaws. Even though they were literate, both of my parents, my mother and father, were avid readers, and my father was a good Christian, a good professing Christian. But he was hurting. Society changed, and he couldn't change with society. And neither could my mother. This is a relatively new book, and I showed you one similar to this: the secret of the Tau Plot Tomb, unraveling the mystery of the Jesus family. It's a small book. A long time ago, we referred to as a pocketbook. If you know your Christian theology, Jesus was supposed to have ascended into heaven after the resurrection. But if archaeologists and some historians have established that Jesus' body remained in the tomb and there was no ascension, that might change the whole theology of Christianity. And that's what this book is about. Personally, I'm willing to change theology because, historically, Christian theology has changed over the last 2,000 years. 
So what's the big deal? I want to show you that I'm not a Bible illiterate. This is a special Bible that's been translated from the Hebrew and the Aramaic. So it differs somewhat from the Douay, the Vulgate, and the King James. But it doesn't differ by all that much. Nevertheless, new manuscripts have been found. There's a dry joke, which a lot of contemporary people would not find amusing, but was humorous at one time. The pilgrims came over to America with two books in hand. One book was the Holy Bible that you see before you. And the other book was the plays and poems. of William Shakespeare. Some people a long time ago found that humorous. The pilgrims who were so devout, so pious, and so religious carried these two books from England all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to Plymouth. The Holy Bible, which was probably the King James Version, and the complete works of William Shakespeare. If you know your Shakespeare, and especially if you know the innuendos and the asides in Shakespeare, some of them were kind of risque, even for a pilgrim. So forgive me for my mockery of the pilgrims. It's a gentle mockery. It's not intended to hurt pious and deeply religious people. It's just simply a warning and a consideration that times are changing as we go into the age of Aquarius. Times are changing. And those changes are caused by the constellations in the sky. The constellation is moving out of Pisces the fish into Aquarius, the man water carrier or water bearer, who outwardly is a man. but inwardly is an androgyny. My understanding of the word androgyny does not mean homosexual or effeminate. Androgyny, to me, my understanding, is a psychological profiling of a long spectrum from extreme masculinity to extreme femininity. So that means that a female, or a woman, or a young girl, could also be androgynous. So don't get hung up on gender identification. It's a spectrum. It's a continuum. From one extreme to the other. And you have all variations in personality. You know the story about Mild Standish Two pilgrim boys came together and they got attached to one another. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong story. That's a different story. I'm sorry. 
It was Pocahontas. A Native American girl who was trying to be converted to uh, Puritanism. But she liked the Native American ways better than the Puritans because she could let her hair down without being ch chastised or abused. If you don't know the poem and you don't like my rendition, if you don't like my version of the poem, I'll post a link to a more legitimate and normalizing interpretation because the story about the two pilgrim boys who were devoutly pious did not want to uncover as the holy book says did not want to uncover the nakedness of their betrothed so they remain faithful companions the two boys until the day they died that's my version of the story but other people have different versions My mother was a romantic, so the word uh, homosexual or queer was not in her vocabulary. And this is not a confessional, so don't get any wild ideas or speculation. Because I could go for a nice, faithful, domestic, listen to me, feminist, listen to me, professional women. I could go, really, fall head over heels for a real pious, domestic woman. But she also has to be smart, because smart is a real turn on to me, no matter what gender it is. The backstory for my mother trying to stab me was I wrote a letter to the editor of the Philadelphia Gay News. At the time, the Philadelphia Gay News was all over the city of Trenton in vending machines. Yes, you could actually buy a gay newspaper from a vending machine in the city of Trenton, printed in the city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm not going into the details because the details are well known. But I knew about the clergyman's attachment to the choir boys. That's an old joke. I was a little kid when I first heard the joke. And though I didn't attach a stigma to it, it didn't excite me. I did know what the meaning was where the clergyman had special choir practice for the young boys. I understood that, even as a little kid. So, This is a chicken, not a turkey. 
It's a nice well done chicken. The camera angle is not exact so I have to look around the viewfinder to find where to hold the uh, object that I want on the screen. Yeah! This is a chicken, not a turkey. And this is a tin of kippers. For those folks out there. It's a tin of kippers fish. And like I said in one of the past videos, we're leaving Pisces, the sign of the fish. Could that be why many of the fish are dying? There's another backstory. Some people, some occultists, some astrologers believe the sun gives off different energies. And the constellations and the planets, and I admit I admit this is pseudoscience for some people, but other people actually believe it. That the planets and the constellations give off different energies. And when they give off different energies, the actual physical world changes. You make of it what you will. Kippers! It's a fish. It's fish. So, would the pilgrims approve of that as a meal? Bread and kippers. I think so. I think the pilgrims would approve of bread and kippers for a Thanksgiving meal. My mother always used to begin holidays meals with tomato juice. It was a tradition repeated over and over again every holiday. As a romantic, she believed in tradition and ritual. And one of them, one of the rituals, that she did for holiday meals was a big glass of tomato juice. Part of the Thanksgiving meal It's doubtful that the pilgrims would approve of tomato juice. My understanding is that at the time of the pilgrims, tomatoes were thought of as being poisonous. Part of the deadly nightshade family So happy Thanksgiving, all you pilgrims and Puritans out there. The problem is, how long will the Puritans and the pilgrims have before the great androgyny 
androgynous change? I don't know. I'm not a prophet. All I do is read and speculate. My favorite condiment Talk about ritual. Talk about ritual. This is one of my favorite condiments, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and whipped cream. Is that symbolic? Beautiful, creamy mayonnaise. It's just that whipped cream wouldn't go good on kippers. No, it's not likely. that it would be good to put whipped cream on uh, fish. But here we have it, folks. What more could a pilgrim want? Glass of tomato juice, kippers and fish, fresh baked bread, And a turkey leg. The pilgrims would approve. I don't know if the Native Americans would. The only thing missing is my domestic. That's why I have to have a woman. I'm not a naive fool. A lot of men marry women to be a domestic servant. Not because they actually love them. And we'll talk about love in the future if I should live so long. Yes. Men marry women as trophy wives and as a point of convenience to take care of their domestic chores, not because they respect or love them. We'll talk about love. And we'll talk about how my mother tried to stab me. And how in ancient Greece, a mother who killed her children. And again, I don't know, I wasn't in ancient Greece as far as I know. But my understanding is that certain parts of ancient Greek history, if a mother killed her child, she would be forced to stand with the child in hand, With the dead child in her hand, she would be forced by knife and spear to hold the child until it decomposed right in her own hand. That's what the ancient Greeks used to do, is my understanding. Have a good Thanksgiving. And though it won't be good to me, as it reminds me of one of the worst days in my life. My intention for this story is just autobiographical and a memoir, not to enforce my pain on you, because I still can enjoy good food. And I haven't forgotten how to laugh.
but I still want a woman as a domestic. That's a joke. We'll touch on love in some future video. Looks good to me. I can't wait to eat it. Fish, mayonnaise, chicken leg, and good bread. Salute with tomato juice. Prosy with tomato juice. Cheers with tomato juice. May you live long and prosper, as someone used to say. Sincerely, have a good Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching this video.